السلام علیکم ویئرس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ہاؤ ٹو فائنڈ ایچ سی ایف سو ویئرس دیر آر ٹو میتھڈس ٹو فائنڈ ایچ سی ایف ون از بائی پرائم فیکٹرائزیشن میتھڈ اینڈ سیکنڈ از بائی لانگ ڈویژن میتھڈ بوتھ میتھڈس آر ویری ایزی اینڈ سمپل جسٹ یو نیڈ از ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اینڈ لسن اٹ کیئر فلی so look at our first method prime factorization method find hcf of 24 60 and 84 first step is to find prime factors of all three numbers what is our first step we have to find prime factors uh, so what are our prime numbers uh, 2 3 5 7 11 like this okay uh, so start with 24 Uh, we have to start with 2 our first prime number is 2 so we have to start with 2 2 multiplied by 1 2 2 multiplied by 2 2 now uh, again we have to see that this 12 is divisible by 2 so because it is a one number uh, no 2 uh, multiplied by 6 is 12 now again this 6 is a one number and it is divisible by 2 2 multiplied by 3 is uh, 6 now this uh, now we get odd number okay so this is not divisible by 2 it will be divisible by 3 3 1 uh, 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 now uh, next look at this 60 in the same way we have to do uh, with 60 we have to find the prime factors of 60 and we have to find the prime factors of 84 now next step is uh, we have to write the prime factors as a product of all numbers like 24 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 what we are doing in this step we are writing the factors of 24 as a product now we will write factors of 60 as a product and um factors of 84 as a product now next step we have to find the common factors we have to find the common factors what are our common factor this 2 is common and here this 2 is common and here can you see this 3 is also common look here like this so hcf is a product of all factors that are common to all three numbers now what we get 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 is 12 so 12 is the hcf of these three numbers now look at next method our next method is hcf by long division method hcf by long then find hcf of 85 and 238 by long division method now in this this is dividend and this is our divisor okay so we have to start division uh, with 85 now in the rough work we have to write the table of 85 so that it will be easy for us uh, now uh, when we will multiply it with 2 we get 170 and when we will multiply it with 3 we will get 255 that is uh, it this number is bigger from this we have to choose the nearest small number so we will choose this one 85 multiplied by 2 is equal to 170 uh, now we have to do subtraction what we are left with we are left with 68 now we will make 85 85 as dividend and 68 as divisor now again make the table of check it with 2 68 multiplied by 2 we will get 136 which is bigger than 85 so we cannot take this 136 we will choose 68 multiplied by 168 now we will do subtraction here what we will get 17 now again we have to continue this process until we get zero remainder now uh, look here when uh, now we have to make table of 17 here like this 
सेवेंटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू थर्टी फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री फिफ्टी वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर सिक्सटी एट मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव एटी फाइव सो एटी फाइव बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग एट फोर वी आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी एट ओके दैट इज दिस शो दैट इट इज एक्जैक्ट डिविजिबल बाय दिस सो लुक है सेवनटीन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फोर इज सिक्सटी एट एंड वट वी विल गेट जीरो रिमाइंडर हेयर सो The last divisor which gives a zero remainder is HCF. What is our last divisor? This one is our last divisor which gives zero remainder. So HCF of 85 and 238 is 17. Now in this example, I will show you how to find the HCF of forty-two, twenty-eight, and seventy-four means HCF of three numbers by long division method. Now in this, we have to take smallest two numbers, uh, that is forty-two and twenty-eight, and from these two, make forty-two as dividend and twenty-eight as divisor. Okay. always we have to make the smallest number as divisor so now uh, start uh, first of all we have to make it stable when we will multiply it to with 2 we will get 56 that is bigger than 42 so we will take 28 multiply by 1 is equal to 28 and we will do subtraction here uh, what we will get 14 here now again we have to make this 28 as dividend and 14 as divisor and when we will multiply it with 2 we will get exact 28 here and when we, uh, we will do subtraction we will get 0 and we will stop it here now uh, next what we have to do we have to take the last number that is 74 means third number and make this last divisor what we have to choose we have to choose the last divisor from here 14 uh, now again make 74 as dividend and 14 as divisor now uh, when we will multiply it with 5 we will get 70 here as you know we have to choose the smallest nearest number smallest small smallest nearest nearest number okay so what we will get 70 here when we will do subtraction we will get 4 make 14 as dividend again uh, repeat the process until we get zero remainder now the last divisor which gives a zero remainder is hcf so here what is our hcf our hcf is 2 now um, look at another example HCF of eighteen twenty seven and twenty four. Okay, now we have to find the HCF of. Now look here. In this, we have to find the HCF of eighteen, twenty-seven, and twenty-four by long division method. So, as I told you in previous example, that we have to choose the two smaller numbers. Uh, here, we will take eighteen and twenty-four. Okay. So, first of all, we have to start with. 18 and 24 make 24 as dividend and 18 as divisor so here we will start making table of 18 18 multiply by 2 8 multiply by 2 16 one carry two multiply by 1 3 plus 
that is greater than this 24 so what we will take here we will take 18 multiply by 1 18 now we have to do subtraction here as we cannot do subtraction of 4 uh, from 8 so we will take carry from this it will become 14 so what we will get here now 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 uh, we will get 6 here and now again we have to repeat the process until we get 0 remainder now we have to make this 18 as 18 as dividend and 6 as divisor now we have to see 18 comes in table of 6 or not 6 multiplied by 1 6 6 in multiplied by 2 12 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 so what we will get here 6 multiplied by 3 18 so we get 0 0 remainder here now again uh, one number is left that is 27 now we have to make 27 as dividend and we have to choose the last divisor last divisor here what is our last divisor 6 so we will write 6 at divisor 6 multiply by 1 is 6 6 2 is 12 6 3 is 18 6 4 is 24 and 6 5 is 30 so we will choose 6 multiply by 4 is 24 and when we will do subtraction what we will get 7 minus 4 we will get 2 here sorry 3 we will get 3 here ok and we will make 6 as dividend and 3 is our divisor now 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and here we get 0 remainder so next what we have to write the last divisor divisor which gives 0 remainder the last divisor which gives 0 remainder is HCF so in this case our HCF is 3 ok what is our HCF our HCF is 3 so viewers if you like my way of explaining please like my video share it as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching